What's going on guys, Dean here with another video. In this one we're going to be going over how you can possibly improve your FPS while playing Rust and most other games. I put together a few little tips and tricks that I found effective for me. Hopefully they can help you out as well. Don't get your hopes up too much because you do need somewhat of a good computer to run this game at a decent FPS unfortunately. But nevertheless this can improve it slightly or a lot. I mean I think I gained about 20 FPS after doing these steps and there was a lot of you requesting that I make this video so I decided I would go ahead and do it. Let's get right into it. What you're gonna want to do is go to your Steam library, right click on Rust and click properties. You will then see something that says set launch option. Click on that, then go to the description of this video and you'll find a long line of text that you will need to copy paste here. There is two options that will be different depending on your computer. The first one is the max RAM or max MIM meaning max memory. All you're gonna have to do is determine how much RAM you have in your computer, convert it to megabytes, and then put that number there. For me, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I will put 8192. The second option that you're gonna want to take a look at is the refresh option. What this is referring to is the refresh rate of your monitor. For me, I have a 144 hertz monitor, so I put 144 after refresh. You're gonna want to figure out what your refresh rate is and then put that number there. If it's only a 60 hertz monitor, you can just go ahead and remove that option completely. It doesn't matter. It goes to 60 hertz by default. That brings us to step two. We're going to be adjusting settings on our GPU control panel. For me, I have an Nvidia card, so if you do as well, you can follow right along with me. Those AMD users, I'm sure there's some sort of similar setup for you guys, so if you can find the area on your control panel that looks like this, just go ahead and copy the settings as best as you possibly can and it should give you better FPS. As you just saw there, you can specifically select the games to adjust the settings for. In this video, I'm going to be adjusting my global settings, meaning it's going to affect all the games that I play. Obviously, this is personal preference, but I suggest you do the same thing. Make sure you guys pause the video here and copy all of the settings that you see. Once you have them all inputted, there will be an apply button somewhere down here. Go ahead and do that, close out, and check the description for a RAR file that I have. You're going to want to download that and extract it anywhere that your heart desires. Open up the folder and there will be an application inside that is called Unpark CPU. You're going to want to run that as administrator. If you don't trust it by any means, go ahead and skip this step, but I promise you there's no virus or anything. Then you're going to click on the check status button down there. It will prompt you telling you that you may or may not have parked cores. If it says parked, you will want to click on unpark all, wait for it to do its little loady thing, and then they should say unpark. If you're wondering what that is, basically if you have a CPU that has like 8 cores or something and it doesn't need all of them, it will park them. You can take advantage of these cores by unparking them, resulting in better FPS. Now for the next and final step, go ahead and launch Rust from your Steam library, wait for the launcher to pop up, and then you're going to want to click on resolution, set it to your native monitor resolution. Obviously if you're getting super bad frames and it's almost unplayable, you can downscale that a bit. As for the graphics quality, I usually play on good or simple, I don't see much of a difference between all of these honestly. You don't really want to play your game in window, just keep it full screen and go ahead and launch your game. At this point you're going to want to join a server, open up console by pressing F1 and you're going to type perf space 1, P-E-R-F space 1. You can also put perf space 2 or 3 to get a little bit more options down there, but for the sake of this video we're just going to put perf 1 so that we can monitor our FPS while adjusting graphic settings. Speaking of graphic settings, open up your settings menu. The only thing in the options tab that is worth noting is if you have the chat disabled before you connect to a server and you leave it disabled, you'll get a slight FPS boost. It keeps your computer from having to remember the previous messages and whatnot. It's not going to improve your FPS a lot, but it will slightly. As for the graphics tab, 
under effects, the only thing you're going to want on is anti-aliasing. Everything else should be turned off. On the quality tab, I have my graphics on 2. I have my water quality on 1. Sometimes I turn that up. I have my max shadow lights on 1. And my shader level, I usually keep at about 2 to 300. Shader level is a very important one. It does change FPS a lot. If you have it turned down all the way though, it looks absolutely disgusting. So you don't want to do that. You want to have that at about 200 at least, if you can that is. As for my draw distance, I keep it at about 2000, you can lower that to improve some FPS. Shadow cascades I put on none, shadow distance, turn that all the way down so you can get some nice sharp shadows like this. If you have that turned up at all, your shadows just look really, really bad. So turn that all the way down, it doesn't really affect my FPS at all, so I'm not sure if it will to you guys. Anastrophic filtering 1, parallax mapping 2, input, keep that all the same. For the audio tab, if you have a 7.1 or a 5.1 headset, go ahead and adjust that there, then skip over to the performance tab. You're going to want to put your max gibbs pretty low. What this is, is whenever a wall breaks, there will be less pieces, meaning better FPS. Everything else just go ahead and copy like I have here. Obviously if you need to you can lower this stuff. Grass quality you need to have all the way up if you can. It's really important. As you can see the grass looks very nice with it all the way up but if you turn it all the way down there's just huge unnecessary patches of grass that most players aren't going to be seeing. It's going to really put you at a disadvantage if there's a gun or a sleeper or a body something that you're looking for in the grass you're most likely going to look over it. So make sure you have that grass quality turned all the way up. Decor quality put at about 30. Lower it if you need to. There is one more command that you should type into your console. What it does is makes it to where there is no limit on the max frames per second that you can get. That command is fps period limit space negative one that is basically it guys at this point you should be getting playable if not insane fps on rust i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you learned anything please leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you think i deserve that if you think any of your friends could improve their fps go ahead and show them this video i'd really appreciate that and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one peace